Thank you. Greetings, colleagues. I'm glad to be with you today, and uh, I want to introduce you with our product, with our Pristine Machine. Pristine Machine is a startup company in a stealth mode. We already have a first client, and uh, it is our potential customer, and uh, he wants us to make them first in the first announce and uh, to combine our marketing activities. Uh, that's why we cannot share all details of our products and um, even our main goals and business cases. But we can share some details which are related to OpenStack and that's why we are here. Our Android experiments uh, are by product of our OpenStack based development. We already we are very grateful community for a huge base of sources and uh, for your documentation, for your products, it is a really large stuff and it really helps us. We are excited to launch our, our products as soon as possible and uh, we believe that it will make OpenStack more reliable and uh, I guess more enterprise ready. Let's see what we can show. Our first real challenge was to install OpenStack Compute Node into Android operating system. That was our first complicated task, and uh, it is the most complicated task. <laughs> it was the first most complicated task for us. Other tasks are less complicated, so this was our first key point. So let me show how it works. It is an architecture of our presentation environment. And uh, I will show you a video because deployment takes too much time and we have only a few minus. So we have our first video. It is uh, an overcloud environment based on Instack. And there are already oh yes, here is a problem. Sorry, guys. So here is an overcloud environment based on Instack. Oops, thanks, video. Yes, yeah, we have already some set of images, all of them are default, default except this one. This image, which we will show, is an Android image, which contains OpenStack com Compute Node on it. As you can see, the build is Android, so this is a Linux build, but it is Android operating system, complete Android operating system. So we source some variables to work with under cloud, to work with Instack virtual machine and uh, to deploy our over cloud system. Our over cloud will contain only two nodes. We need only two nodes. The first is OpenStack controller node and the second one is OpenStack compute node which is, which is based on Android. So now deployment is running, it is waiting for readiness, but it but we will switch to another one video. Hope yes. And uh, wow. So we have wait for the readiness of OpenStack overcloud. Two nodes are already running and uh, we'll check them. We need at least their RP addresses to work with them. Mm -hmm. It is paused. Yes. Yes, both of them are running. We can see it with our virt manager. 
they are using CPU and at the first time we'll go to the um, OpenStack compute node because we need to set up it uh, and uh, to launch a command for overcloud. We need to verify that overcloud is uh, working, that overcloud is ready. So we again source details to work with overcloud. We are switching to overcloud compute node and uh, ch are checking our nodes and images. As you can see, we don't have any nodes, we don't have any instances for the current moment, but we have two images. The first image is our friend, is Cirrus image, which we are we all using for our testing. So we will make an instance with this default Cirrus image. And it is run, it is launched. It also takes some time. We'll check that the image, that the instance is created. And uh, later, we'll check that it is instance is really running into our compute node. Oop. Start. Oop. Yep. So now our, now our instance is running. We know how to access them. It, can, it has an IP address. To access it, we will go to the compute node and we open a VNC station. Also, current for the current moment, we need to check that all processes are running, required processes, for example, open the switch client, uh, QEMO process, and other virtualization processes. So we will go to the VNC interface of this compute node and uh, it must show us our default instance, which is running first. And we see that our Cirrus image is booting up. It makes some stuff, but it is completely functional. It has the name. And later we can use it as our destination operating system. So why we do such things? <laughs> it's a real good question, I guess. Oh. We're doing such things to learn, to learn how to build OpenStack from sources, how to work with it like it is our product. In such way, we can build OpenStack and deploy it on any operating system we may need. Also, we can deploy it on different cross-multiple platforms, on devices and different processor architectures. An example is that Android operating system which is running in overcloud. It, is, it was not really <laughs> not easy to do, but we have done it. Everybody who works with Android knows that it is not easy to work with it and it is very limited in resources and you must uh, do a lot of things to make usual Linux programs running on it as they are running, on, for example, on Ubuntu. But we have done it and uh, now we have OpenStack Compute Node and it is running on Android and as I said, it is extremely light operating system and it is really portable. And this will help us in future. So as we can see, applying of standards and uh, a bit of C++ makes everything possible. And we have some future goals, some current goals. There are several of them and they do not look <laughs> very easy and very simply, but we already know that they are achievable for us. And we believe that OpenStack can become more reliable and more faster. And that's why we are here. That's why we want to participate in this process and to work with you guys to share our experience and to know what is better for the world. Thanks for your attention, for your time. And if you have any questions, I would gladly answer.
all questions. So thank you for your time. See you the next time.